Brothers and sisters, I greet you today with a heavy heart and with renewed shame for our church's past failures to protect those in our care. This shameful part of our past that has shaped our future was painfully highlighted again this week by the Attorney General of Maryland. The lengthy investigation and news of this recent motion has certainly reopened deep wounds, most especially for victim survivors, to whom I extend once again my deepest apologies for the abuse suffered upon them by clergy and others whose sinful and criminal acts so badly damaged them. The church and some of its ministers failed to respond to them with care and with compassion and failed to hold abusers accountable for their sinful and criminal behavior. I also want to speak to the lay faithful who make up the people of God in this archdiocese. You too suffer each time you are reminded of the church's failings. I apologize to you and assure you that the church has been and will continue to be committed to being better, doing better, by continuing the work of the last two decades to ensure that our church is safer, healthier, holier, and that no child in our care is ever again harmed. Please join me in praying for the victim survivors of sexual abuse and for their loved ones who are hurting and who are deserving of our solidarity, support, and prayers. Please also add your prayers to mine for the laity, clergy, and religious who make up this local church. May we find strength in our shared faith, in our loving God, and in each other at this most difficult time. May God bless you and keep you always in his love.